If a plaintiff waits so long to enforce a right that enforcing the right would be unjust to the defendant, the doctrine of laches might bar the plaintiff's lawsuit. In Weinberg v. Bissonnette, the First Circuit considered whether a laches defense applied to a lawsuit delayed by seven decades. In 1934, Dr. Max Stern inherited an art gallery in Dusseldorf, Germany. Due to Stern's Jewish ancestry, the Nazi government forced him to auction off the gallery's inventory, which included a painting titled Girl from the Sabine Hills. Soon after the auction, Stern fled Germany and eventually settled in Canada. The Nazi government confiscated the auction proceeds, and Stern searched for the painting for the next several decades. When Stern died in 1987, he bequeathed the residue of his estate, including any interest in the painting, to the Max and Iris Stern Foundation. In 2004, the foundation's trustees hired an art recovery firm to help find the painting. The firm discovered that the painting had been purchased at auction by Dr. Carl Wilharm, who had kept it in his private collection until his death. Wilharm's stepdaughter, Baroness Maria Louise Bissonnette, had inherited the painting, which was scheduled to be sold at an auction in Rhode Island. Bissonnette refused the trustees' demand that she return the painting, leading the trustees to file a replevin action in federal district court. The trustees moved for summary judgment. Bissonnette didn't contest Stern's ownership of the painting. Instead, she asserted the affirmative defense of laches. Bissonnette argued without evidence that due to the long delay in filing suit, potential witnesses and documents were likely no longer available to her. The district court rejected Bissonnette's latches defense, reasoning that Stern and the trustees had exercised reasonable diligence in searching for the painting and that Bissonnette hadn't been prejudiced by any delay in filing suit. The court granted the trustees' motion and ordered that the painting be returned to the trust. Bissonnette appealed to the First Circuit.